Welcome back everybody, Mr. Crow Science here, and today I'm going to slay a dragon. It's time for class. I got projects that you wouldn't believe. Science of 3D printing student machines. Na 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 na. It's a Carol thing. Before we get started, make sure you do your bell work, make sure that you're subscribed down below, and click the bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Last week, my niece called me and asked if I could 3D print her a dragon. She has a friend who's really into dragons, and she wanted to give her a really cool present for her birthday. I have some filament that I got from the Alien 3D UFO subscription box. I've got this red glitter PLA that I knew was going to look awesome as a dragon. So I decided I'd do a practice print and regular PLA for my little niece and hopefully your friend's gonna really like it. Okay guys, so I hopped on the Thingiverse. There's a perfect dragon model that I know is gonna make my niece super happy, and it's by a friend of mine who goes by, I think it's Turincorn? Let's see if I can find it here on Thingiverse. There it is, Turincorn, I was right. Okay, so this is the dragon model. It's super awesome looking. It is gorgeous, and I just know that my niece is going to love it. So I'm just going to go ahead, go into the theme files, download the STL. We're going to bring it over to Kura. Okay, so I'm in here. I'm here in Kura in uh, version 3.6, which is what I use. And this is what it looks like on the build plate of my Monoprice Select Mini V1. So it's a little bit too tall. It's not going to fit in my build volume. So I'm going to reduce the size down to about 80%. And that's going to make sure that it will fit, I think. Let's see. That's, that's going to make sure that it will fit within my build volume. So 80% looks like it's about the limit there. That's about all I can get out of it. Now, once I do that, I know that I'm going to want to print this in some of the U the UFO samples that I got in the one of the previous videos that I've done. There is a really cool glitter filament that I'd like to try. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and prepare this, slice it, and see how much filament that's going to use because I know that those samples only have about 20 millimeters, excuse me, only have about 20 meters of filament on them. Alright, so it looks like it's going to take about 23, almost 24 meters. And I know there's only about 20 meters on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out simply by changing the infill density. 22% is pretty high. I'm going to bump it down to 10% and see exactly how much filament that saves me. All right, so it looks like I'm down to about 18 and a third or so meters of filament. So I think that's going to be exactly what I want. But I'm going to go ahead and print this in a regular PLA, not my glitter PLA, because I only have one shot at it. So I'm going to throw this on the printer, and I will see you at the end of the time lapse. And here it is. Man, this thing came out sweet. I know she's going to really love it. I really appreciate all the detail that's in this, uh, even down to the, the wings and the texture and the skin. Um, 
This was printed on my wife's printer, which is a Monoprice Select Mini V1. I just replaced the hot end with an E3D V6 clone, and I wanted to do a test print anyways to see how well it was going to turn out. And if you check out the detail, you can see it really printed well. Uh, I love this model. I think it looks super awesome, and I'm sure that my niece is going to love it, and her friend's going to be really excited. Uh, so seeing as how I printed one for my niece, I said, you know what? I've got some really cool samples that were given to me in the last month's Alien 3D UFO box. So I decided, hey, you know what? There's a really cool red glitter filament in there. I've got to try it out. So I did. This thing looks amazing. I've never used glitter filament before, so all I did was just bump the temperature up just a little bit just to make sure that the glitter wouldn't get stuck and clog my nozzle. But this thing is absolutely gorgeous. This filament is so, so pretty, and I really looking forward I'm really looking forward to leaving this on my desk at the school, showing all the students exactly how awesome their teacher is, because I 3D print dragons for them, and they don't look anywhere near as awesome as this model. This thing is excellent. Really, really detailed, and that glitter really adds something to it. This is awesome. Well, anyways guys, that's all I've got for you today. Make sure you leave a comment down below if there's anything you'd like to see me print or, or a new project you'd like me to try. I always welcome suggestions on the channel, especially those that help my students to learn and grow. And anything that helps me to become a better teacher is good for everybody. I will see you guys in the classroom.